Hey everybody, this is Ben from UtahCafeRacer.com and as you can see, stuff is actually coming together. We've got the seat and the frame and the tank all painted here and uh, my dad is not slowly trying to scoot in. <laughs> and uh, things are really moving along. So the seat will get uh, a little love. Uh, we're going to do uh, black leather and uh, it's going to be upholstered right from the where the rider sits down all the way forward up to where it meets with the tank and um, anyway things are really moving along here okay so a couple other tidbits here about the bike the frame has been painted a satin black powder coated thank you dad and the tank is a General Motors color it is a, I believe, a medium galaxy blue. And how I actually came to this color was through my wife's nail polish. She was letting me go through it here one day. I was like, damn, I love this color. And so, sure enough, I ended up going down and finding the exact color. Although it wasn't until after we got it painted that I showed her and she's like, hey, that's the same color as my nail polish. So, it worked out pretty good. Alright, so here we are getting ready to start putting stuff back together. We've got all the valves and springs and everything's lapped and we just took a can of gunk and uh, which is an en engine degreaser you can get typically at AutoZone or Harbor Freight and sprayed it all over the head here, cleaned it up real good and made sure to get the lapping compound out of the ports and out of the valve guides and everything and uh, we'll be getting ready here to put it together we've got all our parts here plus we've got a big old bottle of um, uh, assembling grease and uh, we'll be using this we're putting it on the, <clears throat> the valves themselves as we put everything back together and uh, get it working good Okay, so so far we've got three in and three out. So we've got three of the intake valve or the, the intake valves in, and uh, now we're getting to the exhaust valves. And one of the things that uh, we noticed here, as you can see with um, the old bad um, valve guide, is that there are these seals. Uh, yeah, oil seals and they go on like so and to get these down on here once they're in the valve or once once they're down once they've been put over into the yeah over the stem to actually push them down by hand is is really difficult so <clears throat> what we came up with here is we just took a piece of uh, tubing that fit all the way over it just just kind of almost the uh, same uh, OD as the seal. the seal and uh, while it's down in there then we just tap it on the top here with a rubber hammer until it uh, seats. seats. Thank you Dad. So uh, coming along. Okay so we've got the valves all in and uh, the next step is to take some kind of solvent and pour it right down into here well actually into all of them and see if there's any leaks that'll tell us that the they weren't um, lapped enough they're not sealing and we need to take them back out and do some more lapping I'm pretty sure well I'm pretty confident that we did a pretty good job here but um, I uh, the next step of course to put in the solvent we also need some kind of plug on the spark plug holes and I can't find the damn spark plugs so it looks like we might be done for today's festivities but it's been very educational and I'm tired as hell so anyway thanks for watching okay got lucky um, Okay, we're using a urethane paint thinner uh, to test for any leakage. 
in the exhaust or the intake valves and uh, as you can see here um, you know we got them filled up full and uh, I was able to find the old spark plugs here so it was to plug those holes but I mean we there's nothing I mean it, it's it's solid there might be an itty bitty teeny bit <clears throat> right around the edges as we look up inside the uh, ports here when I say the edges is right where the valve seats but um, I mean we're we're doing good so I'm pretty confident that uh, yeah looking good dad still good still itty good bitty seepage right here on number two yeah very very little damp spot okay cool so it's late at night and we're calling it a day but we've been very successful so again thanks for watching See you next time.